get ready with me while I tell you about how I got this scar, which you can't really see when I was three. Okay, that just rhymed. Not intentional. So it was a raining day in LA where I live and I was wearing my yellow little rain boots. No, I literally just got foundation on my fucking shirt. So basically I was just like that really energetic type of kid and I was like running around everywhere, but the floor was so slippery. I'm about to have dinner with my family and we walk into the restaurant and I'm like running so I'm really excited. But the floor was so wet. So I'm running, I'm running, and then there's like this wooden boat standing up and with a really sharp edge. And all of a sudden, I lose control of my body and I start gliding across the whole restaurant. I physically could not stop my body and I'm like heading like full speed towards that boat. So basically, that's the last thing I remember before I'm in the fucking hospital bathroom gushing out blood and my mom like literally passed out. This was really bad for my mom because she has the biggest fear of blood. Okay, off topic, but like I kind of changed the way I do my mascara. I used to be like chunky like spider lashes. All I remember is they gave me like numbing shots and then he stitched it back. Very okay, graphic, but <laughs> the whole part here was like sliced open. I'm probably going to show the pictures in part two, um, but it's been like, I don't know, like 14 years and I still have this scar and it pisses me off so much Anyways, I've learned to just live with it. Um Yeah Okay, this step really ties together the whole routine. It's just like a little line for nose contour But yeah, stay tuned for part two